Do Benue men give their wives to guests as welcome gifts? My personal experience. <laughs> when I checked my NYC posting and saw I had been posted to Benue State, I felt disappointed. I had hoped to go to Southeast, particularly a village in the heart of Igbo land and experience a glimpse of the word Chinua Achebe had described in his books. As I was grumbling, in disappointment about how much I didn't want to go to the Moody Belt, one of my friends patted me on the back saying I was going to be having the best time of my life in Benue. According to him, Benue people, particularly TV men, have a culture of giving their wives to guests for the night. I was shocked. I had neither heard of this custom nor believed it was possible for any man to offer his wife to a guest but my friends and some other person insisted it was a tradition handed down over years of practice and i should look forward to such gifts as consolation for not getting the state i wanted hmm. i had planned to leave for benue on the day camped open but due to financial constraint i waited till the following day this time this made it possible for me to use a transportation service that would have taken me directly to camp in Wanune. Instead, I used the regular transport service at Ido Park, which goes to Boko in Benue, and we set off. I soon realized I was the only Yoruba person in the vehicle when we got to I Ikire in Ocean State, and one of the passengers out of curiosity but do the curie from the hawkers the man who later told me his name is kumbu noted that he had always seen the dodo curie and had no idea how it tasted he asked if there was any yoruba person in the bus and i signaled before asking me how the dodo curie is made it was after i explained it to him that we got on talking he told me it was my first travel to benue and he assured me i had nothing to worry about he said chief people are very welcoming of guests and treated them like family i wanted to ask if the generosity extend to gifting their wives to guests but i decided to i decided against it the driver had predicted that we would get to Boko at 7 p.m., but that was to change for two reasons. First, the vehicle developed fault in Ondo State, and we were delayed for two, about two hours before the problem was fixed. Secondly, the driver received a call from another driver warning him of robbery at Okene in Kogi State. We had to park for another hour before we received the all clear message to continue because of this delay we entered Benue around 10 p.m. by my calculation. I knew I would be getting to Boko around 11 p.m. and I was not ready to continue the journey to NYC camp. That same night, I asked Kumbu if I could get a cheap hotel in Boko. He said he would will have willingly taken me to his place if he was going to Boko too but had to stop along the way to attend to something important. He then asked if I would not mind staying with his eldest brother who had a house in Boko and would readily give me a room to pass the night. I accepted the offer when he assured me it would be safer if his brother picked me at the park and take me to his house than for me to start looking for a hotel to pass the night. When I agreed he placed a phone call to his brother and everything was settled in a minute. When we got to the park in Boko, Kumbu's brother was waiting for me. I thanked him for agreeing to give me a place to pass the night. Even when he did not know me, he laughed and waved off my gratitude. He said, Kopa, you will soon know how kind and welcoming Benue people are. His house was not far from the park and in the short walk there, I was glad I agreed to the offer as it would have been difficult for me to find my way in a strange place looking for a hotel. When we got to his house, he showed me where the bathroom was and told me to and and told me food would ready soon as he already he has his wife to prepare food as soon as his brother called. I thanked him again and went to bathroom to freshen up. I thought about what I heard about Bimi people, but hurriedly pushed it out of my mind. I went back to join him in the living room where I finally 
where I finally, his wife, she was putting food on the table when I joined them. She greeted me shyly and said she hoped I would enjoy my one year stay in Benue. I soon found out her name was Doshima. She was young and beautiful and i thank her for going through the trouble of making food for me within a short period the pounded yam was one of the best meals i have ever eaten and i told the man so he joked that if i stayed in benue for a year i would not want to return to where i came from because of the quality and affordable affordability of their food he then showed me to my room and i bade me good night i lay on the bed thinking about how hospitable the man was to me which confirmed what i heard about being a people just when i was settling in the sleep i heard a soft knock on my door my heart was beating fast when i opened the door i saw doshima standing there she asked me softly if i needed a wrapper to sleep as she had brought me one i nod dead because i was too tongue-tied to talk and mumbled my appreciation she bade me good night and left for for minutes my heart kept on beating fast for a moment i thought the gifting of wife to get story was finally coming true eventually i slept off and had a long sleep because of the journey on the morning when kumbu's brother came to knock on my door to wake me half an hour later i was sitting with kumbu's brother again who had insisted i had breakfast before going to nyc camp while we were eating i put the question to him directly it was true that if it was true that there was a thief culture that made men give to their wives to guests as a welcome gift he burst into laughter amused and laughed till tears came out of his eyes he said eventually i like our wives too too much to give them to strangers it's a rumor that has stuck for a very long time no thief man will hand his wife over to a stranger yes we welcome strangers and treat them well but it does not extend to giving them our wives you see how my wife welcome you give you a wrapper last night in the past it used to be the women's wrapper that is given to the visitor when the visitor now comes out in the morning with the wrapper around his body people from other tribes will start to whisper that the only way the visitor would be seen in a woman's rubber is because she ha was gifted to him over the night that's how the rumor started <laughs> he said it has not stopped them from being hospita hospitable to strangers but there was nothing they could do about the rumor that has spread far i thanked him again and thanked his wife when i picked my bag to go to nyc camp i would eventually spend one year in, Bo in boko and in that period i experienced how highly hospitable thief people are and nobody not even the kindest of men offered me their wife as gifts <laughs> okay i think this story is very very interesting if you ask me well you can go to the comment section and share your take and opinion on this article thanks for listening